This is your primetime forecast for East Alabama and West Georgia from Dr. Don's Weather. Dr. Don's Weather is made possible by the Randolph County Commission, First Light Coffee, Roger Bell Auto Brokers, Southern Auction Solutions, Genesis Swig Clinic, Jimmy Stevens Construction, Anchor Roofing, The Town of Wadley, Auction 431 South, The Salem Auction House, and Bama Diesel Repair. From the Alpha Weather Center, powered by Boondocks Barbecue and Creamery, Southern Union State Community College, and the venue at Five Points Farms. Here's Dr. Don. Hey, here in East Alabama and West Georgia. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2024. It is time now for your primetime forecast for January 1, 2024 on Dr. Don's Weather. Don't forget about the Salem Auction House. You knew them as Auction 431. They're in their new building now at 50 Lee County Road 175 and their big auction of the year, the first one of the year, coming up this Friday night on January 5th. Opens uh, The doors open at 6 p.m. and the bidding starts at 7 p.m. Eastern. Be sure you check them out. It's the Salem Auction House on 50 Lee County Road 175 in Salem, Alabama. Also get in touch with Jamie Dukas for your insurance needs for Alabama and Georgia. You can contact Jamie by scanning the QR code on the screen or click the link at the top of the video or call Jamie at 256-831-7770. Find out how much money you can save with Alpha Insurance, Jamie Dukas. All right. Let's talk about some weather. Also, don't forget to head over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button, and click that bell so you can get that push notification when we go live to cover severe weather. We don't have any severe weather risk between now and Friday, but it is going to be a roller coaster ride this week. We've got multiple weather systems coming our way. We'll stay dry today, so we'll have a beautiful New Year's Day, and then things will start to change on Tuesday night into Wednesday. We'll have a weather system move out of the southwest. It's going to move across the northern Gulf of Mexico, and it's going to overrun precipitation across Alabama and Georgia. And the upper-level profiles right now are suggesting a very close call along the I-20 corridor and north for the possibility of a little frozen precipitation out there on Wednesday. Right now, it is not in the forecast because there's a lot of disagreement out there among all the different models as to what the temperature profiles will be on Wednesday. But the Weather Service is uh, kind of throwing us uh, some hints that, um, yeah, there may be some mixture of rain and uh, grapple or sleet maybe from the I-20 corridor north. This would be in the uh, during the day on Wednesday. If this were coming through during the overnight hours, I don't think there'd be any question. But because it's during the day, uh, our temperatures may be just warm enough uh, to keep us from having any frozen precipitation. But we may have some... Uh, some evaporational cooling that will take place on Wednesday, which could bring those temperatures down into the mid-30s, which would be certainly cold enough to support that frozen precipitation to the ground. It wouldn't stick, obviously, because the ground will be above 32. But, yeah, big question mark out there on Wednesday, and we're going to be watching that for you. We'll dry out again on Thursday and Friday, and then here comes another storm system Friday night into Saturday. And this one is going to bring a tremendous amount of rain to the southeastern United States, we believe. And it's going to be extremely windy out there on Saturday. And <laughs> there's more. If you're in North Alabama and North Georgia, there will be that possibility of some frozen precipitation Friday night into Saturday morning. Right now, it looks more icy than it does snowy. Uh, but, yeah, we've got to get uh, Wednesday's event out of here before we can get good enough resolution to see what Friday night and Saturday looks like. Uh, but just know that we have at least two weather systems headed our way between now and the weekend. And this is the pattern I think we're going to see for the majority of the winter. It's going to be every two to three days we're going to have a storm system come through. And... Uh, Temperatures are certainly cooler than they typically are this time of year. So you snow lovers, hang in there. 
I think you got a better shot this year than what we've seen in years past. Let's take a look at your current conditions at the venue at Five Points Farms. 42 degrees, fair skies, uh, wind is calm at the moment, humidity is 80%, the barometric pressure 30.22, dew point is 37, no rain the past 24 hours, the high on New Year's Eve was 56, Sunrise this morning was at 642, and the sun sets this evening at 446 p.m. Headed for a really nice day across East Alabama and West Georgia. Uh, we're looking at 52 degrees this afternoon in Roanoke, 49 over in Ashland, Lineville, 52 up in Wedowie, 48 in Ranburn. We'll make it to 54 in LaGrange, and Lafayette tops out at 54 degrees this afternoon. Here's your six-day forecast from the Alpha Weather Center. Jamie Dukas, your local Alpha agent. We're looking at a mostly sunny Monday. Happy New Year's, 52 this afternoon. It's going to be cold tonight, down to 25 for your overnight low. On Tuesday, sunshine, 52, down to 29 on Tuesday night. And here comes that rain on Wednesday. Really going to kind of depend on when the rain moves in. If it comes in a little sooner than expected, we could see some issues on Wednesday morning. Uh, right now, though, we think it will be mid-morning, maybe noon, before precipitation makes it into East Alabama and West Georgia. And at that time, we believe temperatures will be in the low 40s, low to mid 40s. But again, there's a big question mark there as to whether or not we get an evaporational cooling taking place with the precipitation falling through that warm layer. If that were to happen, we could bring that frozen precipitation to the ground, especially along and north of the I-20 corridor. So we're going to have to watch that uh, as we get a little closer. Should have a much better idea by this time tomorrow. 31, your overnight low on Wednesday night. We believe the precipitation's gone before we drop down that cold. We will see. And then on Thursday and Friday, we go back to mostly sunny conditions. 49 Thursday, 51 on Friday. Friday night into Saturday, here comes another storm system. Showers uh, are certainly a good possibility, a good soaking rain on the way for East Alabama and West Georgia. And we're going to get caught in one of those uh, pressure gradient wind events as well on Saturday. It's going to be extremely windy. And uh, if you're in extreme North Alabama and North Georgia, again, pay attention to Saturday's forecast. There could be some icing problems on Saturday morning. Southern Union State Community College live Doppler HD radar this morning, scanning the southeastern United States. You see a cold front draped across central Alabama, up across the Atlanta metro. That is slowly sagging to the southeast, and there may be a real thin line of clouds and showers, especially just east of Atlanta, across east Alabama and west Georgia. Maybe some high-level clouds, that's about it. It's pretty much a dry front, but it will reinforce that cold air. And this is why we will dip down into the mid-20s for your overnight lows tonight. Be sure to follow us over on Twitter. It's at DSTREN1040. We broadcast all of our weather information on Twitter, just as we do on Facebook, YouTube, and at Dr9WX.com, our home on the World Wide Web. Be sure you like us on Facebook and share us with your friends and ask them to share with their friends. Very important that you do that, folks. If you don't do that periodically, we will drop off of your news feed so you won't see the weather information that we provide for East Alabama and West Georgia. So extremely important. Uh, just about every single time you see something from Dr. Don's weather pop up on your news feed, be sure you click that like button, share it with all of your friends, and ask them to share it with their friends. Also, make sure that you text the word ALERT to 256-540-8664 so that you'll get that important weather information from the Randolph County Emergency Management Agency, HyperReach, is brought to you by the Randolph County Commission. And if you own a business and you'd like to be a partner with us on Dr. Don's Weather, such as Boondocks up on beautiful Lake Weedowie, send me a message on Messenger. I can tell you how we can have you started by the time we do our weather forecast first thing tomorrow morning right here on Dr. Don's Weather. Good Lord willing and the creek don't rise. We'll see you tomorrow. Happy New Year. See you tomorrow. Bye now. This has been your primetime forecast for East Alabama and West Georgia from the Alpha Weather Center, powered by Southern Union State Community College, the venue at Five Points Farms and Boondocks Barbecue and Creamery.
Dr. Don's weather is supported by the Randolph County Commission, First Light Coffee, Roger Bell Auto Brokers, Southern Auction Solutions, Genesis Sway Clinic, Jimmy Stevens Construction, Anchor Roofing, The Town of Wadley, Auction 431 South, The Salem Auction House, and Bama Diesel Repair. Be sure to like us on Facebook, share us with all of your friends, and subscribe to Dr. Don's Weather on YouTube. We will be back tomorrow morning with another edition of your primetime forecast on Dr. Don's Weather.